Welcome to another episode of Smart Tips. I'm Jeff Gonzalez, and today I'm going to walk us through how we can automate the creation of documents populated dynamically with data that lives in the records that we're working with inside of Smart Suite. We're going to use a little bit of document designer, a little bit of automations. We're definitely going to have some fun. Let's go ahead and dive in. In today's video, we're going to be operating out of our project management template solution and working out of our projects table. In this example scenario, I want when we hit a certain stage determined by our status field, let's say in this case, when we reach the planning stage, then I would like you to produce a project document that articulates all of the important details of my project, right? I don't want to take all this information that already lives in SmartSuite. I've spent time putting that information in. I want it to automatically form a PDF and populate it with this data. Uh, we actually can, and we can automate the process of creating the document, saving the document and putting it back into that smart suite record. Let's see how. So I'll start first with document designer in our table drop down menu. I can open up and create a document. Now this document is filled with both static and dynamic elements where I could say, I want this to say project plan. This is the font size that I want, the font type, the weight all that good stuff. And then you can put dynamic elements in place like actual field values. So in this case, project plan, and then to the right of it, I wanna put the project name, which is my title field. I'm doing that all the way down the list. One thing I'll cover in more detail here is I have tasks and tasks are shown as a linked record field type where I've linked the tasks on my other table to this project. When I actually show that in document designer, I can include fields of information from those tasks that are linked to this project record. So I could choose table mode and I can choose which table columns I want to populate. I can resize and form it to my document. So I've done that with tasks and I've done that with deliverables showing due dates, owners, types, and the names of the deliverables, as well as tasks, additionally showing the phase for tasks. Now I can always come here, I could preview this view, I can print it and I can export as a PDF, but I wanna take it a step further and automate the creation of that. And I want it to save right here in project documents. So let's say the moment that I move into planning, I want that to trigger an automation that takes all of the information from this record, saves it in a PDF the way that I structured it in my document designer. And I want it to save it right here in this project documents cell actually built the automation already that does that. I'll show you what that looks like. Very simple trigger. When a record is updated, when the stage changes from anything to equal to planning, the moment I enter planning, I want you to, we have a ton of different smart suite automation actions, brand new one, generate PDF. I'll show you what this menu looks like. We choose the PDF that we want to generate. And this is a list of all of the document designer templates that I've built out. I already have this template created called project plan. And then I can give it a title. So I can save it as smart suite PDF, or I can call it project plan and insert dynamic values from that record. So I could say project plan and then include the project name, which is our title field. That way, the way it saves is completely unique. And then the next step, I want to update the record. I want to take project documents and I want to add another document. I want to append the value. I don't want to replace. I want to append the exported PDF. And you can find that here. It's going to say fields from the trigger at first. We don't want to use fields from trigger. We want to go back. We want to use data from another action. That action generate PDF that came directly before it. We're going to use that exported PDF, which we can see here. We'll go ahead and save the changes. And as I come back over here to True Kitchen launch location five, and I open up this smart suite PDF. I can see that it saved my project plan in the way that I structured it in Document Designer. I hope this was valuable. I hope you can find a way to implement it within your project management solution. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, keep building. Thanks for watching.